Hi there. I'd like to present you with 11 facts that will help you better understand nuclear medicine and what nuclear medicine does. On average, every Australian will have 2.5 to 4 nuclear medicine procedures in their lifetime. That's a fairly significant impact that benefits all Australians. In Australia, more than 10% of the population who need nuclear medicine services don't have access to it. And this is usually due to geographic or social isolation. Globally, the situation is worse, with well over 50% of people who need nuclear medicine not having access to it. In the US, 7,000 nuclear medicine procedures are performed annually per 100,000 of population. In Australia, it's 2,800. But in China, it's down to 100. And in many countries in Asia, Africa and South America, it's even lower. Demand for nuclear medicine will grow globally 10% per year and more than double in Australia by 2066. That's a significant growth. If every patient who needs nuclear medicine had access to it, over 1 million lives would be saved or changed in Australia alone. That's a fairly significant number. Globally, it's even more. The current capacity and the number of trained staff are insufficient to meet the current needs, let alone the future needs in nuclear medicine. We really need to grow our workforce. There's over 100 different types of nuclear medicine tests that save lives um, through diagnosis and treatment. Diseases that include cancers, neurodegenerative disease, heart disease, trauma and sports injuries, diseases of the skeleton, renal, endocrine, lung and gastrointestinal disorders. Nuclear medicine provides life saving across the lifespan. Importantly, nuclear medicine improves patient outcomes for many significant diseases, and this contributes to improving the quality of life of Australians. And there is significant variation in access to nuclear medicine services between Australia, Southeast Asia and the globe, indicating demand nationally as well as globally for more staff that are qualified. Australia, we don't do too bad, but there is significant demand for more nuclear medicine staff uh, in Australia. With the exception of some of the great therapies that we do in nuclear medicine, nuclear medicine is safe and non-invasive with no impact on day-to-day -day activities. Patients go about their usual business. Nuclear medicine uses molecular level imaging, quantitation, radiomics, and the state of the art technology of computer science, radiochemistry, instrumentation, physics to provide early diagnosis, stratification, targeted treatment, monitoring response to treatment for precision medicine across the lifespan of patients. Nuclear medicine is precision medicine across the lifespan of our patients. So in Australia and the globe, whether you're old or young, male or female, whether you're a child, an athlete, undergoing degenerative change, nuclear medicine plays a significant and pivotal role in the health and well-being and the outcomes of your treatment. So if you want an exciting career, think about the diversity and variation associated with a career in nuclear medicine. Your career in nuclear medicine starts at Charles Sturt University.